It's one half of the Super Spro Bros here, Vicky Analog, here to make a quick video to show you guys how to adjust your OPV. If you are not getting the pressure you would like. Now, the OPV I'll be adjusting is on a Nuova Simonelli, Simonelli Oscar. This is my home machine. The part is ordered from Electros, which is a coffee company in Italy that somehow gets their hands on dirt cheap uh, OEM Nuova Simonelli parts. And they make all kinds of mods for the Oscar, which is great because the Oscar is a cheap, cheap machine as far as price wise. You can get them used on eBay for about 400, 500 bucks. And then you can mod them out to make a machine for your home that makes really, really cafe quality espresso. Basically the OPV I installed from them is showing me that it's pulling about eight bars. I'm using a gauge I also bought from them on a porta filter that I also bought from Electros. Uh, this measures the, the pressure coming out of the group head and it's showing that it's pulling just under eight bars. Um, we would like to be around nine and a half, maybe 10. So I'm gonna try to show you guys how to adjust this. Now, quick overview. It's underneath the machine. Basically, there's a plate on the bottom I'm gonna take off. And then there's a tube, there's a three-way tube. One of the tubes has a nut on it that all we're gonna do is turn it left to decrease the pressure, right to increase it, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Stick with me, here we go. It's actually closer to seven bars, but it does leak a little from the outside edges of the porta filter basket. And you also notice that we run this test. Let me take this off real quick. Show you. It's with no filter in the basket, and that's important. You might think that that's because I have a bad group head gasket. That's not the case. The group head gasket is actually less than two months old. Uh, still has a lot of rubbery bounce to it. It's not. Uh, crack and dry so I'll just take into account that there's a bit of leakage so we'll assume that maybe that pressure is a little bit higher than seven we'll say like seven and a half still we need to adjust that OPB so let's get in there so you'll notice it got it tipped up onto its front side and it is just sitting on the ledge so that the steam steam one lever is not being touch. I put this chair here for safety in case the machine gets top heavy and falls forward. I would hate to have this machine fall. So we're going to take this back plate off and get in there and this should be a quick and easy job. She opens up. Right here is the nut I'm talking about that needs to be tightened or loosened. For our case we want more pressure so you need to tighten it because it'll restrict the flow and create more pressure. Just a bit. We're gonna put this thing in the oven. So we're getting there, just a little bit more.
just a bit too far. Dial it back a little. Now, I'm not actually flipping the machine over every time I do this. I'm actually just holding the bottom on enough to get to it. And then making small adjustments. Just like that, it's ready to test again. There we have nine bars of pressure. And with the leak also, I'm assuming that might add maybe another half bar or so. so Maybe nine and a half is should be good. Now time to dial in the grind and pull some shots. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I'm happy the machine was able to get adjusted correctly. I'm happy my pressure is now sitting around nine, nine and a half bars. Uh, and I'm happy that I have good espresso to drink. So I want to shout out to Electros for providing me with the, the parts and also the information on how to adjust the OPV. And Cat and Cloud for amazing beans. This here is the answer. If you don't know about Cat and Cloud, check them out. God, they're good beans. Woo! Until the next episode of Super Spro Bros, bang them back, baby.